Hi, a power steering filter is useful for keeping your fluid clean. There are several considerations when installing. It needs to go in a return line, the low pressure line, in a straight section and put in a place where you can easily remove it and clean it. So we've marked the return line where we need to cut it and remove a section of hose. And I found a cable cutter does a pretty clean job. So stage up your clamps. Whatever brand you use, make sure the arrow on it points away from the steering gear, from the rack and pinion, and toward the, uh, the reservoir tank. Okay, with the clamps in place, there's our final position. Okay, we remove contaminated fluid from this accord and also put in the new hoses. So now we're going to check the filter three months later. Got a towel under here to pick up the inevitable spill. I'm going to plug it with this. Just a bolt. 3 8 inch bolt. So if it's cold out, softening it up might help. Hmm. Much of anything coming out of there. Yeah, there's some coming out now. Alright, we got both ends plugged up there. Okay, so there's no spring here on the input side, so the spring must be on the out outboard side. I'm trying to get at the filter, um, but the magnet is kind of blocking it on this side. We'll take the other side apart. Take this other side off. This is the side I believe that's spring loaded. Let's see once. Yep. See it's spring loaded, so that's why we want to ease it off. This is where we have some parts in case of spring. So the filter sticks to the magnet, so just push it and it'll come out. And it is clean, which means our fluid is clean. And that's what we wanted to know. That's for the magnet. The magnet is kind of stuck between a couple of rubber seals in here. Yeah, it's not really designed to come out. I mean, you could force it out, but there's really no reason to. So we'll just clean this up and put it back together. So we'll back in with our filter. And comes the spring. flying. Yeah. Now we 
can release this clamp. Okay, so we got one half on, and it's leaking through. It's a messy job. Move around that. We tried to keep it to a minimum, but we did lose a little fluid, so now let's top it off. Honda requires Honda fluid. Jack it up till the tires are off the ground. Stands on there. I gotta tell you, Honda makes this easy. Beautiful jack point. Set it on the stands. I put the key in the ignition and turn it back and forth. End to end, lock to lock. Till all the bubbles come out. Okay, as you do this, check it from time to time and add back as needed. You don't want to run it out. Now, Honda in particular is known for being very difficult to bleed. In fact, some recommend using a vacuum pump while you turn the wheel back and forth in order to bleed it. I've seen quite a few slightly differing procedures out there. But the important thing is just make sure you get all the air out. Thanks for watching, and if you like this content, please give it a like and subscribe.